All right, everyone. Um, I'm just going to go through what we did in the lecture on Friday, the 21st of July, 2017. Um, what we were talking about was uh, how to use some of the command line tools to kind of interrogate your network. So I'm logged onto a Linux machine here, and you can see in front of me. Um, I'm just going to move into the the demo that I made for the the lecture, and just to r run you through some of the standard Linux commands. LS lists the contents of the current directory. You can see there's the script that I wrote during uh, during lecture today, and another test script I wrote earlier. Um, CD uh, the stands for change directory, and will move you up or down into different directories. But w what we're here to talk about today is some of these command line tools. So the first uh, uh, the first is Bash scripts. So to make a Bash script is very simple. Um, I'm just going to use the text editor Nano. Although you're welcome to use uh, Pico or VI or anything else, and then we just give a file name. So nano example script dot sh, uh, and that will open up a window like this, which is completely empty. Now all Bash scripts start with this weird series of characters bin Bash, and this is essentially saying this is this is a Bash script. Um, if I was making, say, a Python script or some other kind of script, I would change the, the corresponding at the top, but it's just so you know this is written in the language Bash. Uh, and the nice thing about Bash scripts is that they can be used to make, uh, to, to, they can, sorry, use any of the command line tools. So we talked about quite a few. Uh, the one that we've been using at the moment is ping. Um, and remember ping just generates a packet and sends it out to a particular destination and then waits to hear for an echo. If it receives the echo it will say success and if it doesn't receive the echo it will it will fail. So um, I'm going to use dash c1 which means send one packet instead of continuously sending them and then we're going to send it out to um, let's send it to www.google.com um, Now I can also ping individual IP addresses so let's go ping uh, dash c1. Um, what's another IP address that I have used recently? Well, we can actually ping this machine's own IP address. So let's go ahead and ping that 10.30.72.86. Uh, and that's it. That's my entire bash script. It is just a list of commands I could have typed. Um, so if we exit out of that and hit yes to save it, um, all I need to do now is to run my bash script first I have to make it executable. Um, Linux by default uh, doesn't make new text files executable for security reasons so there's this command chmod um, plus x means make this executable and then it's just the name of the example script. Done that and now to run a bash script I type dot slash and then the name of the script so example script and now when I hit enter we can see that bash script has run. So here is the first ping command that I did. It pings Google and you can see uh, that it was able to ping Google and get a return in a very very short period of time. This ping is successful um, and down here that is our second ping. Um, I can do a bit more with my bash scripts however so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in and edit that one again and to edit I just type the same thing that I that I used to create it which is nano and then the script name um, I go back into it and uh, let's say hypothetically I wanted it to print out something to print out something I use this this keyword echo and you can see it change color there uh, and then I'm going to echo the string hello engineering 110 students Sorry that that color is absolutely horrific to see on the screen. I'll fix it in future. And then we'll go echo script finished. Um, and let's say I wanted to ping a, a range of IP addresses rather than just pinging one. What I do is probably add a for loop. Uh, so for loops in bash just work like uh, very similar to Java for I in, and then the range of numbers that you want to go through. So I'm going to ping the range of IP addresses from 80 through to 90 on this particular network that I'm on. So I'm going to go 80 dot dot 90. That will make a list of numbers between 80 and 90. I could also just type out 81 comma 82 comma 83 comma 84 and so on all the way up to 90. But I'm lazy so I'm not going to do that. And then in bash we type do um, 
to, to show where the for loop starts and then done to show where the for loop ends. So everything between do and done will be repeated the number of times the for loop runs. Um, the only other thing just to show you how to access that for loop variable uh, in, in bash I can print it out using echo going dollar sign i and if I want to use that in my ping command it would just be something like dollar sign i. Um, the final thing I'm, I'm going to do is you probably noticed that uh, ping spat out a whole bunch of different information. Some of it was necessary, some of it wasn't. And if I do this uh, 10 times, then that's going to give me a whole bunch of information I don't really want. So there's this wonderful command line tool called grep uh, that will allow us to filter that output. So if I type in the pipe character, that's the one that's uh, directly above your enter key. It's um, You hold down shift and push that button and then grep then grep will filter for uh, any lines that contain the next string that I type in. So I'm going to type in the string time equals and that will only return some of uh, that ping information. So let's exit that and run it. Just as a example again, I don't need to change the, uh, uh, the permissions now, I only need to change that once. And now to run it, example script. And there we go. So we can see that for the IP addresses 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 and, 80, oh, and 84 I was able to get a ping request, um, I was able to successfully ping. 85, notice that there's this line missing, it was unable to find a machine at IP address number 85 so there's no line printed out there. It could find one at 86, that was itself, that's why the, uh, the ping time is so small and then 87 it found 88 it couldn't find a machine at 88 it could find it at 89 and at 90. So that's a basic introduction to bash scripts uh, there is quite a lot more to them they use uh, both quotation marks apostrophes and uh, back ticks which is the key below the escape key on your keyboard they all mean slightly different things um, but I'll leave that for another video.